It is 8.33 in the morning and I'm here to pick up and I can't really show you anything because they don't allow cameras on their facility or to take pictures of any of their stuff. So all you get to see is the inside of my truck. It would have been a cool load because this is plate steel that I'm going to secure to the deck and uh, it's tarped so you won't get to see too much of it after I'm done. Sorry. Bad. My bad. Or right, they're bad, really. <laughs> See, it is 1.26 in the afternoon. Let's see if I can show you what I got to do left here. So you see where I'm at? I'm just at the top of Des Moines, uh, top of Des Moines. I'm in the top of Iowa, heading to Kansas, because nothing's better than Kansas. Um, if it'll focus, probably won't, but there it is big stack of steel plates I just got fuel so I'm ready to go <sighs> I can't wait to spend my weekend in Kansas Woo! it's uh, 347 in the afternoon I am in Iowa mile marker 100 on I-35 south I think it is and uh, with this nice rest stop. But at least South Dakota, it had like a little bit of rolling hills. This is like, I can only imagine what the pioneers were thinking when they were crossing this, the plains of Iowa thinking, huh, there's not much out here. Maybe we can plant some corn. I'm grateful for the pioneers, otherwise I would have never ended up in Washington. Let's see. You can see how high this, let's see, can, does that give a adequate, this is uh, plate steel. I have 18, uh, st uh, three stacks of six of quarter inch uh, flat steel. It's quarter inch thick, stacked in the stacks of six and then the top two are one inch and a quarter thick uh, steel plates and it goes the length you know that's how long they are so these are monster thick plates here at the, at the top an inch and a quarter another inch and a quarter and then these quarter inch stacks so it's uh I used every chain I had just because of the way I had you have to secure plate steel uh, it's only 45,740 something pounds, so I could have used less chains, but um, you basically have to run uh, cross chains across the front. Um, they make like an X right here, and they come over the top, and uh, come down here, and then I got another chain that goes the opposite side, and then it's chain, chain straight across all the way until the very back, and there's one chain you're only required one in the very back to uh, you can kind of see the ridge line there to uh, hold that from moving backwards which I'd have to have some serious force on this thing to move these plates backwards it's more of uh, stopping the forward momentum than I am concerned with so anyway that's it uh, the facility I loaded at uh, didn't allow cameras to take pictures of their facilities or anything like that, so couldn't. Uh, it would have been it, it would took over two hours for them to uh, load my truck because they're union, and they took like three breaks while I was there. <laughs> it's like everything would shut down, everybody disappear, and then they'd come back from their break, load more stuff, and then. Uh, Look for product, look for product. Like, oh, I gotta go get batteries. Oh, it's break time. Okay, so. Yeah, it wasn't a whole lot of. It, it took me only like half an hour to chain this thing down. Well, probably less than 20 minutes almost to uh, chain it down and get my tarps on. I mean, I was quick. And uh, I'm happy with the way it turned out. So, and it's only one tarp. I have two canvas tarps underneath because the uh, edges would 
really tear up my tarps if I didn't have the canvas under the, there. So I ran canvas on both ends and then just one uh, vinyl tarp across the top. But it, as you can see, there's excess up front. And there's uh, you know, a little bit on, on the back. I may have to pull out the uh, cement because even though they sewed this on there, it's uh, coming apart right here. Though it's uh, good enough for now. That's a serious patch job. I just hadn't noticed that before. Must have a really good size rip in there. Because they, not only did they glue it on, they, they ran it through a sewing machine. It, uh, it must have gotten eaten by a dinosaur because it's got the old zigzag pattern in there. If you've ever seen that movie. That's about it. This is the, that's the direction I'm heading. And I've got like another four and a half hours to go and then I'll be done for today and possibly the weekend. I'm planning on stopping at the Love so I can get my free shower every day. I'll probably get Wi-Fi while I'm there so I can upload these videos. Otherwise you'll go with a, a week without them. I'm about, I'm about, uh, I want to say eight miles from Iowa 80, maybe 10. And then I'll be heading west for like five miles and then back south again. It's almost a straight shot from where I picked up to uh, Eureka, Kansas. I don't know who would say Eureka when they get to Kansas. But, <sighs> teach their own. Everybody likes something different. I like mountains. And obviously the people in Iowa don't. Alright. Back on the road. Oh wait. I've got... Uh, well, I've been on my break for 18 minutes. I've got uh, 13 more minutes to go. And I'll have my 30 minute break done. Did I add that up correctly? No. 12 minutes. Sorry. Four hours and 23 minutes, and I've got five hours and four minutes on my 14 hour clock. Let's approve all these. My eight day. So, two. I'll total up my uh, miles when I get there, because today's going to be a pretty, I think, a pretty good day. I had a 600 mile day and a bunch of four, almost 500 mile days, so. This load is, um, what is this load? It's a 550 mile load, but it, it also has 252 miles empty, which is over 800 miles. Um, but I don't know if they count the uh, empty miles towards the, the load, because there's a rule over the weekend if you're stuck out like I am, you have a if your load is less than 800 miles, they automatically bump you up to 800 mile, an 800 mile load. So my load, mine will either get paid more for this particular load when it d delivers on Monday, or it won't. I don't know. We'll find out, or I will find out, and then I'll try to remember to report it. But half the time I don't even look at my paycheck. My wife does and calls me when there's an issue, <laughs> like last week. Um, they took out too much taxes out of um, a specific check that I got from Maverick. And uh, it happens on occasion. Uh, once a quarter there's a uh, check that I get, or have been getting. And uh, for some reason they take out like four times as much taxes as they need to. And yeah, I'll get this back at the end of the year, but I don't like giving my government free loans, so uh, I want my money now. And uh, if I have to pay the government taxes, then they can get it at the last possible moment. So anyway, they, my wife tracks this stuff and lets me know so I can make phone calls. And uh, This last paycheck, they just basically took out less taxes than they normally do to make up the difference. So that's the way I understand it. All right. Time to have a snack. It is 6.18 in the evening. I think I'm going to stop for tonight because I don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> I'm 
not in a hurry anymore. Um, this is this is a loves, but I'm not going to stay here over the weekend. I'm I'm going to get up tomorrow and and drive like two and a half hours to where I think I'm going to stay. I would I would go if I continued tonight to try to make it to that destination. Odds are there may not be parking, and I don't want to skip that stop. So I'm going to stop now, get a bite to eat, get up, have a, a nice day tomorrow. Start it off with probably a free shower, because yeah, every day is a free one, baby. Um, and then travel a couple hours down the road and be like, alright, I'm done for the weekend. And then Monday morning I'll get up and be ready to start my week because I'm only like uh, 45 minutes from where I want to deliver. And I do things different than other people, so. Everybody does it their own way and this is the way I do it, so. As you can see, my uh, headboard is empty because <laughs> everything is on this load. Um, everything has got the two points of contact uh, set up. And if you could see, that my chains are like two to three feet apart, so it's very excessive, but uh, it covers the weight by only two chains. So sometimes you may have to use what may appear more than necessary, but really this is, this is adequate. I could have gone with uh, one less chain, but who cares. Somebody asked about these stake pockets. Um, these have a working load limit, or, or I guess a working weight limit, working load limit of 6,600 pounds, and the spools have a working load limit of 3,300 pounds. So, and the re one of the I think the main reasons they do they we like to use a this two points of contact is that the chain does not roll. It's a solid uh, connection. If I were to wrap the chain over to the hook and put it, put the hook around the chain, uh, that has the ability to roll on these two, po these two points. So that's why this is the preferred method and then you use the secondary method. And there's a third method where you connect just to the stake pocket. Um, I've never used that. In fact, um, I would have to watch a video on how that third uh, hookup is done because I have never used it in my almost one year of trucking. It's hard to believe I've almost been trucking for a year. Yeah, it's weird. Like in a month and a half, I'll, I'll have like one year done. <laughs> one year of trucking. It goes by quick when you're, uh, my age. I'm sure if I was like 22 starting out in this, I'd be like, holy crap, I've been driving forever. But no, it's uh, it's gone by quick. And I'm glad I picked the company I did. Alright, that's it for tonight. Time to go have fun. A lot of fun at a truck stop. Lots of fun.